hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we'll look at the chain rule of differentiation remember we're still discussing the basic rules of differentiation all right so chain rule applies to uh, composite functions you recall we discussed composite, fu composite functions under functions so when you have for instance y is a function of uh, uh, g and g is now a function of x so you can see here our well, y is a function of g and g is a function of x and you want to take the derivative of y with respect to x okay so uh, you are going to apply the chain rule and what does that say so here we decided to substitute g as u so that means your u is now equal to <clears throat> g of x and so if u is g of x therefore our y will now be f remember it was f of g before so since you have now replaced g with u so you now have u so that is to say that your derivative the formula is equal to dy with respect to u since y is now a function of u times du with respect to x since u is now a function of x so assuming you have up to three or four no matter the number assuming that you have u is a function of x and there is another variable maybe v being a function let's say h of u and then uh, before y being a function of uh, v now okay so you can see y is a function of v v is a function of u before u became a function of x so this is now that means dy up to x is going to be equal to dy with respect to v so every particular dependent variable will be differentiated with respect to the variable that it is directly related to which is v for y then v will now be the v with respect to u because it's related to u and then uh, finally you will have the u with respect to what x so that gives us the chain rule you can see it's a chain dy is connected to v v connected to u u connected to x so the chain goes on that way all right so now we have this example here it says that we should we are given y to be this then that we should differentiate okay so solution so you always start by giving names to your functions here you can see we have two functions 5x plus 3 and then you have a power function okay so what do we do here so we'll give the you start naming from the one enamels so our 5x plus 3 is enamel so let us call it u so let u be equal to 5x plus 3 so if that happens it then means that our y now will now be equal to u raised to power 6 we have replaced everything here with u so it will now be u to power 6 so if we state our formula now our dy dx is simply equal to dy du dot du dx okay so and this is going to give us so if we since we know we need our du so if we take du dx here that's going to give us only 5 and then if we differentiate y with respect to u here that's dy du this is a variable now so that's just going to give you 6u raised to the power of 5 okay so that is to say that this is now if we substitute here we're now going to have 6u to power 5 multiplied by 5 that's the u dx which is 5 okay so that means our dy dx is simply equal to so after you have done this then you now replace the val the variable that you introduced with what you replaced it with initially so we are bringing back 5x plus 3 so we are going to have 6 into 5x plus 3 all raised to the power 5 multiplied by 5 so if you now do that multiplication you will have 30 into 5x plus 3 all raised to the power 5 your 5 here multiplied 6 and that's your solution okay so example 2 okay for example 2 here we also have uh, a function or function about two functions so we give the one inside a name so as usual you can use any alphabet of your choice so let me use v now so let v be equal to s cubed plus one 
so if v is that so it means then that my y will now be the square root of v which is actually v raised to the power half so in that case it means that our dy dx will now be equal to dy with respect to v times dv with respect to x okay so and this is going to give us if we differentiate here we differentiate the v with respect to x we are going to have 3x squared 1 will turn to 0 and if we differentiate this one with respect to v that's dy dv we are going to have half v raised to the power half minus 1 which is minus half and that's going to give us so if we substitute here now we are going to have that dy dv is half v raised to the power minus half multiplied by dv dx which is 3x raised to power 2 okay so at this point now we can then turn this into a positive power to give us 1 all over 2 times 1 all over v raised to power positive half then multiply by 3x squared okay so at this point if we now do that multiplication it means that our dy dx is going to now become so remember that this is over one so all numerators will multiply so we'll have 3x squared all over the denominator will be 2v raised to the power half which is actually the same thing as 3x squared all over 2v raised to the power half is actually square root of half so now if we now replace the value of v that we substituted here so that means our final answer is 3x squared all over 2 square root of x raised to the power 3 plus 1 and that's your final answer all right the next example next example we have we should differentiate this so now let's look at that example carefully you would see that uh, from what we have here there are actually three functions here now uh, the one innermost is 4x minus 3 so we can call that one u <clears throat> let our u be equal to 4x minus 3 and then the next one is the sine okay so let's call that sine v so v is equal to the sine of 4x minus 3 but we have already called 4x minus 3 u so that means v is equal to sine u and finally our y is equal to the power remember power is also a function so it's the power of the whole of this however this has now become sine u okay because uh, your 4x minus 3 is uh, sine u and sine u has been given a name v all right so that means our y will now become v squared okay so now you can see y is related to v v is related to u u is related to x so now we can write our formula of uh, dy dx and that's going to be equal to dy y is related to v so that's dv dot dv v is related to u that will be with respect to u and finally du du is related to x okay and that's with respect to v so you would see that if you state this chain rule or this chain formula accurately you see that if you cancel out you still get back dy dx v dv can cancel dv du can cancel du and we we'll still get back dy dx all right so let's now try to substitute but before then let's get the value of all these ones du dx is going to be equal to 4 and uh, dv du with respect to u remember the derivative of sine is cos so this will be cos u and then uh, the last one here is going to be the derivative of y with respect to v is just going to be 2v just as when you differentiate x squared you get with respect to x you get 2x so if you differentiate v squared with respect to v you will get 2v so we can now substitute so dy dv is 2v multiplied by dv du is cos u and finally du dx is 4 so let's multiply out what we have so if we do that we are going to have 2v times 4 
he said eight v cos u all right i haven't gotten that so we are going to now substitute the value of u and v because we're the ones that introduced them so what is our v our v is uh, sine u so we're going to have eight sine u cos u now that our u is actually equal to 4x minus 3 so we bring it back then multiply it by cos 4x minus 3 also and this is our final solution all right so that's exactly how to handle a chain rule it is differentiation of function of functions so you first of all give names to the different functions you have then use that to generate your chain formula there's actually no particular formula for chain rule because depending on the function you have you will know the number of chains you will have like here we have three chains so you can have two you can have four you can have six ten depending on the number of functions contained in the one you are giving to differentiate all right please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel share our youtube videos and as you subscribe, please turn on the notification button so that you always know when we have a new video. And uh, kindly share our YouTube link and uh, our videos also. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.